Hello, you guys. So it has been a busy day. Um, been doing lots today. Been kind of made some new crayons. I cleaned my office. So it's been pretty, pretty good of a day. Um, so anyways, today's drawing is koi fish because these are just so cute. Like I just love koi fish. Um, and so I decided that we're going to do some of these and just kind of have fun with it. So check out the video, follow along, uh, make sure when you guys do get done that you are sharing with me like always. Um, and yeah, enjoy. Okay. So today's video is the koi fish. These are so cute. I just love koi fish. I just love fish in general. They're so adorable. So anyways, today what you need, like always, is a piece of paper and some sort of drawing utensil. Like I always say, I like to use the Sharpies because it pops out really well for you guys to see. And of course, you may use pencils, crayons, whatever you want to for that. <clears throat> All right, so for today, what you're going to be doing to start with is we are going to start with the body of our koi fish. So you're going to want to go maybe hmm, a quarter of the way-ish down the paper. You're going to start with one nice big curve. So kind of like a backwards letter J is what you're starting with. <clears throat> and then what we're ultimately creating is a teardrop shape. So you're going to go back up to your point and you're going to bring it back down and connect. Now we want to make our koi fish look like they're going in a circle. So then, this is our first one. We're going to start then with our second one. This one we're going to make even more of a curve. So you're going to start maybe mm, two to three finger spaces up from the bottom. And you're going to follow so that it kind of comes parallel with your other one. And curve. <clears throat> and then you're going to come back around and come back to that point. So now you have a big koi fish and a little koi fish. All right, next we're gonna do the fins on it. So for the back, you're gonna kinda come out and go back in. So you're just creating kind of a swirl type of line, not a swirl, a curve type line. And you're gonna do the same with the other side. Just like that. Now I'm going to have you do the same on the bottom as well. So you're going to come out just like that. And then come out and curve back around. Now to bring this up to create the actual fin, you're going to start back at that point And you're just going to bring it up and connect to the body. And the same with this side. And you're repeating the process on your big fish as well. So now we have the body and the tail fin. Now we need the side fins. So for these, draw a curved line out. And a curved line out. It's going to look really funny for a few seconds there. You may want to bring this one down just a little bit more. And then kind of similar to how we did this, you're just going to come in and connect to the body. If you notice, I did curve it just a little though. So you're coming in and curve to the body. And you're going to repeat that with your bigger fish. Keep in mind, you know, the sizes of things too. We want this one to be larger. So his fins or her fins would be larger. And same way, you kind of curve into the body. Curve into the body. All right, next then we're going to add the fin that is on top of our fish. So this you're just going to do kind of a curvy line up near the head of the fish. And you're going to follow it down the body just a little bit. <coughs> All right, then we need to make that look like three dimensional. So when we look above the fish, their fins are usually flattened like this. So you're only going to see just a little bit depending on which side you're seeing on your fish. So these are like a top view. So I'm just drawing another parallel line that just goes right alongside. Same with 
this one. Just a nice little wavy parallel line. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we have to add some eyes to our fish. Eh? So koi fish have huge eyes. I mean, most fish have huge eyes, but koi fish really do. So you're going to draw a half circle near the head and the front of your koi fish. And then you're going to follow and do the same thing with the other side. And if they're a little uneven, totally fine because fish are funny. So they can have a big eye and a small eye. And the same with your big fish. All right, then we're going to add the little pupil, so the center of our eye. And that you can either draw kind of like a circle or half circle because we want it to look like we're only seeing part of the eye because the rest is on the other side of the fish. Same thing with this one. And then, of course, you can color your pupils in. Now, if you're not coloring with a Sharpie and you're coloring with just a pencil, you can wait to color that in for when you actually color your koi fish, if you choose to color. I love coloring, it's nice and relaxing, so I always choose to color. Okay, then fish have kind of a weird eye, and it often looks similar to ours, where you have the pupil, then you're gonna have a line of the colored space, and then you have the eye itself. So these are gonna look kind of funny until we add color to them, because it's gonna look kind of like a bullseye. A little bit but you're going to trace around all of those people so that it has that second part of the eye <clears throat> all right now we're going to add um, some little lily pads and some kind of seaweed so this is how we did on our other one into the background so you can add your lily pad on the paper or you can add it half off of the paper so I like to just kind of show us all that space and all that depth um in our picture so i'm gonna do as if i'm drawing a big circle that goes halfway up the page sorry you can hear my dogs barking and i'm gonna draw the letter v and then i'm gonna connect back down off the other side of the page so now it looks like i have a lily pad that's hanging off of my paper and i could do it again kind of off to the side so what I also like to do with lily pads is I like to make my half circle and leave a little gap and then continue my circle and then I'll draw that little V that's in there <clears throat> if you don't want to draw any lily pads you do not have to you can draw some little plants and vines so I'm just drawing a wavy line and then just little ovals Now I have kind of some little viney type seaweed plants that are in there. I'll add another one over here. So again, kind of just some plants and other stuff in the back of our water with our koi fish. One more little lily pad up here. And one more little string of seaweed weed types of some sort. <laughs> Whatever grows there. All right. So then you have your koi fish. Now some of your other details that you can add is some marks into your fins if you want to. Um, koi fish kind of have a very interesting coloring of oranges and yellows and whites. So you could always do some of kind of the scaly look to that. Um, with your lily pads, you can add some lily pad marks. You'll see when I kind of color how mine's going to be. But that is your koi fish sketch for today check back then I'm going to start coloring it and so you'll be able to kind of see how some of those colors develop and everything and then I'll touch base with you at the end.
Thanks guys. Have fun. So thanks for following along, you guys. This is our final piece. I kind of took um, and made it kind of like scrappy because koi fish really aren't just all orange. They're kind of all different colors. Um, and I decided to play with some new pens that I got. So these are actually watercolor markers. You actually can get kind of the same effect with Crayola markers and just water. Um, so I kind of wanted to play with that a little today. So that's how I decided to color mine. And yeah, I'm really, really excited to see what you guys did. And again, like always, make sure you share with me below. All right, you guys have a good day.